How's it going everyone? Today is going to be the first of my showcase videos for the playable characters in Persona 5 Strikers, and what better place to start than by taking a look at Joker. But before that, just a reminder that if you have any questions about this video, Persona 5 Strikers, or any other game that I cover, you can always catch me live over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming, or on my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. You can also find links there to my other Persona 5 Strikers content as well. One thing I'd like to preface about these showcase videos is that they aren't intended to be in-depth character guides on all the intricacies of the characters. They are simply meant to showcase the different characters and their core mechanics to you. Joker is a very agile and versatile character in Persona 5 Strikers, and as the only character able to actually change his persona, he is, predictably, overpowered. His playstyle is very combo-oriented, and those combos are also pretty straightforward, consisting of hitting square to do a string of melee attacks, followed by the triangle button to finish off combos with his gun. These combos can then be followed up further by hitting triangle again to use an ability from his currently equipped persona at a significantly reduced potency compared to if you were to use them from the command menu. It should be noted that regardless of what abilities you have equipped on a given persona, the ones that will be used as a follow-up attack to Joker's combos are preset and cannot be changed. Furthermore, some Persona will use different abilities depending on whether or not you are performing your combos on the ground or in the air. If you would instead rather use an ability from the command menu in order to take advantage of the increased potency, or to gain more control of where the ability targets, or simply to use one that cannot be used as a finisher, you can do so by holding down the R1 button. Doing so will bring up a menu containing all abilities your currently equipped Persona can use, as well as showing what weaknesses or immunities it has. From there, you can hit up or down on the D-pad to select which one you want to use, and then use the left analog stick to adjust the targeting area. After that, you simply hit circle to use that ability. For healing spells though, targeting works a little different. Once selected, you hit one of the D-pad buttons corresponding to which party member you wish to heal. It's also from this command menu in which you are able to quickly switch between your different persona. While holding down the R1 button to keep it open, you can hit either left or right on the D-pad to switch between your active persona. Finally, Joker can use his gun in battle by either hitting triangle or by holding down L1 in order to aim. Aiming and shooting will expend ammo, but will increase the damage of Joker's gun attacks. Whereas simply hitting triangle will consume no ammo, but at the cost of reduced damage. Both have their uses, and it's really up to you which one you want to use in any given situation. Personally though, I almost exclusively use triangle, as with the way I played the game, I never really found a need to actually use the aiming function to begin with. The last thing to cover with Joker is his Master Arts. Master Arts are four perks that each character can unlock, which can be done simply by using them enough times in battle. For Joker, these are Marking Shot, Wild Rush, Phantom Shot, and Burst Shot. Wild Rush and Phantom Shot add to Joker's combos by allowing him to use Persona skills with a triangle button after certain combos in which you normally wouldn't be able to do so, or to follow up combos with a string of gun attacks. These are nice, but in most cases, you won't be using combos long enough for them to really matter, mainly due to needing to dodge enemy attacks or having your combos interrupted by taking damage. Burst Shot is also nice, but you probably won't use it often. Once unlocked, it allows you to charge up while aiming your gun for a large attack that deals significant damage. This does use ammo though, with damage and ammo consumption increasing the longer you charge. Finally, there's Marking Shot, though it's technically the first Master Arts you'll acquire and it also happens to be the best one. What this allows you to do is fire your gun and then immediately hit circle after doing so in order to close the gap on the enemy, after which you can immediately launch into a combo. This allows you to adapt a playstyle in which you stay at range, firing your gun until an opening presents itself, after which you hit circle to jump to the enemy, do a smaller medium length combo, before retreating to a safe distance so as not to get hit by any of the enemy's abilities. Marking Shot is a fantastic offensive, defensive, and movement ability that should be mastered as soon as possible. And that'll do it for this showcase of Joker and Persona 5 Strikers. I'll have plenty more Strikers content coming in the lead up to and after release, so be sure to subscribe to get notified when new videos release. And if you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to leave a like as it really does help. Until next time, take care.